We're asked to find the inverse of this matrix. This is a 3x3 three three matrix. We can do it by hand, but there are uh, instances in which you can do it on your calculator as well that uh, will really make it a lot, your life a lot easier. So this particular one, we're going to use the TI Inspire to find it for us. So here's our TI Inspire. And the first thing we've got to do is type in this matrix here. If you look at your TI Inspire, right next to right here we have the book. Right next to that one is our, our uh, function to enter in matri matrices. So you click this one, you've used this one before with um, logarithms and with fractions. So right here, the one that I have here in blue is a matrix. This particular one is already a 3x3, three three, but it'll allow you to change it as well when you get into it. So you want to select that one. That's the one that we're on, so we'll hit Enter. Then you have to enter in the number of rows you want and the number of columns you want. So this one is a 3x3 three three that's already entered. If you need to change it, you just move your up and down arrows here. When you're done, you hit OK. And now we need to enter in our numbers here for our matrix. So the first one is negative 1. And I'm going to go through each one of these. Whenever I'm done with one, I'll just tab to the next one. And we keep tabbing until we have them all entered in. Now let's just check it real quick to make sure we've got it entered in correct. Looks like we do. Okay, so when we're trying to find the inverse of it, the inverse of a matrix is uh, when we write it in by hand, we'll have that little exponent to the negative 1. So that's all we're going to do here. We're going to tell this calculator to do all the work for us. Here's our exponent key raised to the, and we'll just type in negative 1. Okay, and this will tell us what the inverse of this one is. We're going to hit enter, and that is our, our inverse. 2, 7, negative 6, 1 third, 1 third, negative 1 third, 2, 6, and 5. This middle section, that is a fraction right there. On the TI Inspire, it's kind of nice because it leaves it in fraction form. It doesn't convert it at all for you. Uh, so there we go. We've got it, and this is your answer on this one. And it's as easy as that. The big thing is just to making, making sure right here is the button where you input in your matrices. Um, and then you just go raise to the negative 1 power will be the inverse of it, and that will give you your answer on this one.